Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and to another World of Warcraft Beginner's Guide video. Today we're getting back into the class overview series with the Mage. I'll be going through some general info about the Mage class, what specializations you can choose to play, and some other helpful tips that should help you decide if a Mage is right for you. Remember, these are just general guides to give you an overview and don't go into specifics like full rotations or talents to choose. I do recommend checking out icyveins.com to get some more in-depth information on the class and spec. The Mage in World of Warcraft is a powerful damage dealing class that is able to annihilate their enemies with arcane power, burn them down with fire spells, or shower them with chilly frost attacks. They have a range of crowd controlling abilities like Polymorph or Frost Nova, can blink away from their foes, and they have a host of useful utilities for their allies, including conjuring refreshments, as well as the gift of opening up portals to major cities. Let's look at the three specializations you can choose from after hitting level 10. Arcane. Arcane mages focus their damage through ranged spells like Arcane Blast, Arcane Barrage, and Arcane Missiles. They're great for dealing high amounts of damage in a short time, aka burst damage, with spells like Arcane Explosion, Presence of Mind, and Arcane Power. They can protect themselves from enemies with Prismatic Barrier and can easily evade using Displacement. This spec does have high mobility and great damage, but is reliant on cooldowns, and if mana is not utilized properly, they can find themselves in a pickle unable to cast. While you're leveling in Arcane, you'll want to gravitate toward gear with a higher item level that focuses on secondary stats like Critical Strike and Haste. Fire Fire mages sizzle using fire magic to incinerate their targets with ranged spells like Fireball, Pyroblast, and Flame Strike, and can engulf themselves in Blazing Barrier to protect from enemy attacks. They do have a number of instant spell casts, which makes them highly mobile and a high amount of AoE damage. But once their damage gets going, it's hard to turn off, potentially creating some high threat. While leveling in fire, focus on higher item level gear with haste and versatility for single targets and mastery and haste for multiple targets. Frost. These mages use frosty spells like Frostbolt, Flurry, and Blizzard to freeze their enemies in their tracks, are able to summon a water elemental to help them during combat, while Ice Barrier and Ice Block can help protect from attackers. They have strong mobility and a fantastic ability to keep their enemies locked down, but their burst damage is reliant on cooldowns. As you're leveling in Frost, focus on higher item level and mastery in critical strike stats. Here are some additional tips while leveling through the Mage class. All mages use Intellect as their primary stat and use mana to cast their spells. Check out alteredtime.com for a great resource with guides, add-ons, and discussion broken down by specialization to help you successfully play the mage class. Mages have the ability to use teleport and create portals for themselves and their party to easily travel throughout Azeroth and beyond. Starting at level 17, they can visit the portal trainer to learn teleports to their respective faction cities, and at 42 and above, can train to open portals. The default polymorph spell turns enemies into a sheep, but using tomes, you're able to learn different appearances for your polymorphs, such as pigs, polar bears, or even cats. Mages are squishies, only able to wear cloth armor, but are able to offset this with their high damaged range spells that can easily kill the enemy from afar, being able to encase themselves for protection, and the ability to blink away to avoid deadly hits. Mages can wield daggers, one-handed swords, staves, or wands, and are able to use offhands if not utilizing a two-handed weapon. Currently, all races except Tauren and High Mountain Taurens can be mages. You can choose a race that looks nice to you, or purely based on helpful racial abilities. For instance, Trolls have Berserk, which increases casting speed, and Void Elves have an immunity to spell pushback with their preternatural calm racial. An ability called Slowfall allows mages to leap off of great heights, gently gliding to the earth without taking any fall damage. The mage is another one of World of Warcraft's classic damage-dealing classes and are masters of weaving magic in the palm of their hand. Whether you're looking to chain your foe in place with ice, burn them to ash with fire, or use explosive arcane shots, the mage is a fun and versatile class to choose from. So that is my basic overview of the mage class in World of Warcraft. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a thumbs up if you liked it and share it with your friends. You guys are awesome and I will see you 
in the next video.